Can we make some noise for our amazing worship team? Go ahead and grab your seats, grab your seats. So check this out. I saw every one of you singing about deep, deep water. That reminds me. The water from the parking lot on the south lot to here is not as deep as the water that we're trusting God to get us through. So if you park anywhere besides the south lot, I'm going to ask you to trust God from the south lot to right here. About that same deep water. If you don't trust from the south lot to here, guess what? Experience tells me. Because we're going to have some people that we're hoping, that we're expecting to come over here. They don't know about the deep water yet, right? So if they say, ain't no close parking, I'm going home, and it's on us, so trust God with the South Lot as well. Pastor Tyler, Pastor Amber, thank you all for this opportunity. Um, we're talking about flying, we're talking about airlines, all the crazy stuff. And so I was thinking, wife and I, we get to travel a lot, we get to fly a lot, and there's nothing as good on a flight as a great flight crew. Right? Just a great flight crew. You come in, the um, uh, air line is nice at the check-in. They're good. You get there, and then the flight attendants are nice. They welcome you. They say hi. They smile when you come in. But there's nothing as bad as a bad flight crew. Right? Even if the pilot is good. Right? In this case, Pastor Troy. Even if the pilot is great. But the flight crew is kind of in. You know, you get into the plane. They're talking to each other. You go further back. You're having trouble putting your luggage in the overhead compartment. They're just looking at you. You can't find your seat. And they're having a conversation over here. And you say, excuse me. They say, yeah, excuse you. Right? On this thing, in this journey that we call life, how many of us are looking at ourselves as the passengers, right? We're on this journey and we're saying, okay, we're about to get on this plane, on this airline, we're going to trust God. And we want someone to serve us. We want it to be easy. We want someone to wait on us. We want them to smile at us, to cater to our needs. But just what if the role that you're called to play is of the flight crew? What if today is not your job and it's not your position to make sure that everything is done right for you, but what if you're here today to help someone else get their luggage into that overhead compartment? What if it's your job to smile when they come in? What if your responsibility today is to make sure that someone else's flight called life or this Valentine's Day weekend that while we're thinking about love and fun and excitement and gifts, this might be the worst time of someone else's life. So what if, instead of you thinking of yourself as a passenger today, what if you did what Jesus Christ did and said, you know what, I'm going to be part of the flight crew. I'm going to be a flight attendant today. I'm going to attend to someone else's needs. Because in P Kids, we're, we're looking at Micah 6, 8. Like, like Micah, we don't go heavy with Micah 6, 8. Leslie, you don't even have to pull out your phone. You know this scripture we've been going through this month, right? Micah 6, 8. The Lord has shown you what is good. He has told you what he requires of you. Now, that's just the first half. We're going to stop right there. He's told us what is good. He's shown us what is good. He's told us what is required of us. Part of the thing, I'm just going to say, I believe that if the Lord was talking to us today, he's saying... Through his pastors, through pastors Troy, Steph, Pastor Tyler, and Amber, he's shown us what is good. Guess where they're parking? You all are with me, right? Because I believe that attitude reflects leadership. Our leadership is doing it. He's shown us what is good. Jesus washed the feet of his disciples. He was the ultimate flight attendant. He was not concerned about sitting in first class. And if anyone had the right to sit in first class, it was Jesus Christ himself. But he said, you know what? I'm going to let go of that privilege. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to serve and serve and serve. And when they talk about me, I'm going to serve. And when they say bad things about who I am and my father, I'm going to serve. When they beat me and crucified me, I'm still going to serve. And I don't know what you've gone through. But the fact that you're here lets me know something. 
It lets me know that you haven't been through as much as our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And if he can continue to serve and be a flight attendant, then why shouldn't we? Because he's shown us what is good. He's told us what he requires of us. So if you all would, just think about that today. And as soon as you are done, we're done praying. If you park anywhere besides the south lot, there's going to be no judgment on you for about three minutes. Okay. God's going to withhold judgment. We're going to hold the judgment for about two and a half minutes. Go over there. Get your car over here. We'll figure out how to get you guys across the deep, deep water. And if we can, we know someone who can, okay? Now, if you want to just stand with me really quick, we're going to pray. And whatever's on your heart, whatever's in your mind, if there's something that's keeping you from becoming a flight attendant, part of the flight crew, maybe you came in here saying, they're lucky I'm here. We're just going to ask that you just lift that up to the Lord right now. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to be part of your flight crew, Lord God. We thank you for the opportunity to serve, to lift that heavy baggage of those that might come in. We want to do as you commanded us in Micah 6, 8. You've shown us what is good. You've told us what you require and is expected of us. We ask that you just give us willing hearts, Lord God, humble us. Let us know that to be a part of and to have the privilege to serve you in this house today is a great honor and privilege. We trust you to do what only you can today. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen.